What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm here with Abby. Hi. Hi, Abby. She's working on cleaning up some Super Nintendo games, getting the price tags on from David's collection. I've been working on putting price tags on the rest of these PS2 games from David's collection as well. These are the ones that still need price tags. These two stacks need to be resurfaced. Uh, Josh will be here today to resurface. That's primarily what he's been doing and cleaning and testing systems and controllers. And we're definitely gonna be finishing up with this stuff today and then starting to work on uh, the collection from Sean. Um, I will pro I, I gotta edit yesterday's vlog still, but I'll probably take this tub of stuff into the back and start entering that in while they're still working on this stuff so that there's not like a huge gap where they're waiting for me to finish stuff. I should probably start doing that. But today should be a good day. It's Saturday, usually our busiest day. I'm very excited and hopefully we have a good video for you guys. All right guys, so we've been extremely busy today. Um, Abby had a hair appointment today, so she's out doing that right now. Uh, but we had three trades come in, which I gotta show you guys. Um, first up is just a standard Platinum GameCube. Came with a third party black controller and both cables. And then a disc only copy of Naruto Clash of Ninja 2. Um, that was a small one. Then I'm gonna have to flip the camera around for these two, but we got two really, really awesome trades. So here is one of them, guys. We're gonna start with the Game Boy stuff. Mario Land 2, Chess Master, Pokemon Red, Donkey Kong, Mario Land, Pokemon Blue, Dr. Mario, and Metroid 2. Then, got some PS1 games here. Some pretty good stuff. Josh can get the phone. Maybe. This uh, Professor Layden unwound feature is factory sealed. Uh, Ocarina of Time's missing a manual, but you know, still there. Uh, Resident Evil 4 in this is factory PS3. sealed. Persona soundtrack bundle for uh, PSP. Bloodborne Special Edition, that's the most expensive one out of here. And then we got some PS2 games here. Some pretty good ones in here. So that was one trade there. And then the other one is here. Um, first of all, there was a bunch of Ninja Turtle figures and accessories and weapons and all sorts of stuff. Uh, there were some VHS, which I already put out, but um, these two and these four, and then this one, Akira, and then this Voltron one, I think, and this HR Puff and stuff one, um, a couple more. There was a few dollar toys that I threw out. We also got this bag of, uh, what do you call them? Playmobile, a um, couple He-Man guys, like Rambo or whatever. Um, these two are Dick Tracy. This is a little GoBot here. And then, what is this one called again? Silver? It's a Silver Hawk. Silver Hawk. It's a whistle one. Um, then we got Demon Attack for the 2600. Burger Time for Intellivision. Double Dribble. Handyman for the TRS-80. Uh, Pokemon X, technically game only, but I think we have cases. This one is sealed, Agents of Mayhem. This is also sealed. Then Hellboy Movie, Castlevania Bloodlines, just missing the manual. Beavis and Butthead Complete. And then some pretty good PS1 games here. So go through like this. Fox Hunt is over 100. Vanguard Bandits has some water damage, unfortunately, and no manual. Valkyrie Profile also has no manual. And then we have some without the full cases, so Tecmo's Deception. X-Files just has like no back uh, case artwork and then the spines are ripped off. Uh, Sayuki Journey West, we just got one of these from uh, this collection here that Abby was entering in earlier. So we have two of those now. Uh, Blazing Dragons, Sui Coden Complete, Vagrant Story, like not in its original case, but it does have both discs. Power Rangers, Nightmare Creatures, uh, Star Ocean, another one, and then another Heart of Darkness, but it's missing the spines, um, and there's no manual, but it does have, does have the 3D glasses and stuff, um, actually it looks like there is a manual in here, so I was mistaken, um, but it's missing the spines, like I said, 
So the last one that we got in, we sold really quickly, but I had two or three other people contact me about it, asking how much it was. So if you're still interested, this is the one we have now. Uh, just let me know. But those are the trades that have come in. Actually, a couple more games that I'm keeping from that PS1 bundle back here in the dark. We have uh, Kagero Deception 2, Deception 3, Dark Illusion, and Cow Delka. So these are the three that I'm keeping. Um, I may be keeping the, the, what was it, the Persona for the PSP here, and the Resident Evil Essentials. I think I have everything else, but awesome trades so far. We're getting some work done. Yeah? Yes. Yes, we are. So Well, I am. I don't know about you. Hey! <laughs> we still have a lot to do, of course, but... Um, we're, you know, we're getting through. Josh has been resurfacing games, um, stuff over here. These and also these are games that I've already taken pictures of, so they can go out. As soon as they're resurfaced, they're going on the shelves. That's what he's been working on. So we've been putting a lot of stuff out today, and it's been super busy, which is awesome. Great day so far. So Abby went to get her hair done, which you guys will see in a bit here. Uh, but she stopped at the outlet while she was out, and she picked up a couple games. So she got Sly Cooper. The Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts and Viva Pinata like double pack. NFL Game Day Long Box for PS1. And then, best one, Monster Hunter for PS2. Which I didn't know, but this is now like a $16, $17 game. So, super cool. Um, I had to pay her for those. <laughs> she took store credit. Um, but yeah, that's everything else that's coming so far. It's been an extremely busy day. Uh, Josh and Abby are out for right now taking care of things. We have, I'm looking at the cameras, we got like at least four four customers in here right now um looks like one guy's like bending down to look at a bottom shelf so i don't know if there's another person there with him uh but yeah it's been really really busy sales have been incredible and of course you guys have seen the stuff that we've taken in on trade which has been really really good as well so yeah i mean i'll let you guys know if anything else comes in um i'm hoping that that's going to be it for the trades it's like 7 20 ish right now uh, but this has been our highest sales day. Well, I guess we had a pretty high one last week, um, but it's been really, really good today either way. So um, I just came back here to vlog and show you guys that stuff, so I'm going to get back out there. Uh, we got all of those PS2 games finally resurfaced and put on the shelves that we got like a week and a half ago. Excuse me. Um, and then we had to rearrange the backstock thing to make room for all the PS2 that we can't fit out there. There's so much. It's ridiculous, but... Um, we might take a look at that as well here in a bit, but um, I do want to show you guys Abby's hair because it looks really, really good. Ooh. So I said I was hoping no one else would trade some stuff in, but someone did. I was a little picky, so it's all right. We have a sealed Hocus Pocus uh, for the computer. This is the only type of PC stuff that we really deal with is really old stuff. Um, plus it's sealed, so it's not worth very much, like five bucks. And we got some PS1 games, uh, Power Rangers Time Force, Pipe Dreams 3D, San Francisco Rush, a Disc Only Final Doom, Mort the Chicken, Fighter Maker, Casper, Puzzle Star Sweep, Twisted Metal 2, and Crash Bandicoot. And he had a lot more than this, I just picked out the stuff that we, you know, we could really use. And we have technically a Disc Only Fatal Frame 2 for PS2. This is uh, Primal, disc only for PS2. Godzilla for Xbox, it's a Hollywood video case, so it's technically disc only. Indiana Jones, The Emperor's Tomb, Pac-Man Fever, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Kengo, Dark Angel, Rayman Arena, Def Jam Vendetta, Yakuza, Worms, Forts Under Siege, Tony Hawk Underground 2 for GameCube, Command & Conquer Red Alert 3, Tony Hawk Underground 1, Driver 3, Dynasty Warriors 4, Mora, Morakumo Renegade Mech Pursuit, and 25 to Life. I'm holding on to this one. It's only like a $6 game. But yeah, a lot of some of these are filler, but they're games that we either don't have or we don't have a lot of and we sell them pretty frequently. Um, like the Dynasty Warriors isn't an expensive game, but this is the kind of game that people buy a lot. Um, same with like the any GameCube games that we take, of course. Uh, Worms, you know, Yakuza is a good one. Def Jam we saw all the time. 
So it's just some really good stuff. So uh, he took trade credit, excuse me, and he took the uh, the Bioshock 2 limited edition that was right there. So we have some more room. Um, so yeah, I think this was a pretty cool trade. Got some good stuff for the store. All right, guys, Abby and I are home now, and we got a couple packages here from Square uh, around Black Friday. They always have a sale, and so I try to pick up as much stuff as I can. A lot of these games were on sale for like $2 each, or even less for some of them. So I'm just going to go through them here. These are all factory sealed. We have Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts 1, Final Fantasy X-2, and Final Fantasy X. Some of these may go into the game store. I haven't really decided yet. Normally I just put them in the closet. <laughs> uh, two PS4 games, Dragon Quest Builders and a Star Ocean, both day one edition for PS4. Those ones were not like a dollar or so, but everything else was. We have three copies of Final Fantasy IX, factory sealed. And then we have three copies of Anthology, factory sealed. They're all greatest hits, but still. And then three sealed copies of Chrono Cross. The thing is, even if these were just opened copies, we could still make quite a bit of money at the store. Legend of Cage 2, uh, Bust a Move Universe, Space Bust a Move, and Final Fantasy Chocobo Tales. Very cool. Another anthology. And a couple lanyards. There was one in each box. Okay, cool. They just say Square Enix members on them. Hey! Right. There you go. I was gonna put them back in the box. Two lanyards. Then, a fancy light bulb. Square Enix sent us a light bulb, of course. Oh my god. Alright. Final Fantasy X, Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts 2, Final Fantasy X 2, Final Fantasy X 2, and Final Fantasy X. We're not going through them again. <laughs> And just a bunch of doubles of everything we just showed you. <laughs> there's more There's more Final Fantasy anthologies, more number nine, more Chrono Cross, um, and then more Kingdom Hearts, more Final Fantasies, and more Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> so that's going to do it for today, guys. It was a really, really good day. We had awesome sales, and we got some really cool stuff traded in. So we're going to get to bed so we can do it all over again tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.